Hey guys, this is Conrad from Film Magic, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this cool looking Casey Neistat intro effect. So let's go. Okay, hey guys, so here's our project. First, we need three photos of Google Maps. So go to your browser, go to Google Maps. Then it's very important that you go over here and turn the labels off and make sure it's on satellite mode. Then zoom completely out of your location so we see the nearby oceans. Type in shift command four so we can choose what we're gonna screenshot just like that. Now zoom already to your city so I'm gonna zoom in to Berlin. Again, shift command four, and then make a very close up shot to some street of your city. Good. When you made those three screenshots, go to your desktop and put them into your project. Now we take our first screenshot of the whole earth. First make it 16 by nine. And now, very important. The whole effect is pretty short, pretty fast. Um, first I'm gonna put the music of Casey Neistat's intro as a reference under my clip, just like that. Okay, first we stay on the static shot of the earth. So we make the first part, the static part, only four frames long. Later we're gonna put some clouds in here so it looks like in Casey's intro. The next block we also make only four frames long. And right here we can apply the Ken Burns effect. Adjust the ending frame and make it pretty small. And make sure both crosses are over each other, so like that. So it goes directly into the middle. And make the movement of the Ken Burns effect to ease out. Now take the next screenshot, put it into your project, make it to 16 by 9. And this one we also only make four frames long. Apply the Ken Burns effect, switch the starting and ending frame if the starting frame is not the wider one, just like that. And now just adjust the ending frame, make it small, really small, center it properly and make the movement to linear. And now take the last screenshot, put it in here, make it again only four frames long, apply the Ken Burns effect to it and set the movement to ease in. The first thing we need to do is to add some colors to the maps. So just go over to the effects tab, type in contrast and put the contrast filter on each clip. Now the next thing is to add some blurry zoom filter onto all clips. So go again to the effects tab, type in zoom, drag it onto the clip, make the look to a variable and set it to 4. And then go to this clip, go to the first frame, set the amount to zero, and then go over here to the last frame, set the amount to three, because now it's like beginning with our movement. Now we want some clouds to have over our match, which will go away, just like in Casey Neistat's intro. So go over here, go to generators, take the clouds, make them only as long as the first part of this clip. So cut the rest right away. Now go to the effects tab, type in keyer and put the keyer filter on the clouds. Cool. Now go to the crop icon and we need to crop just some clouds out. Make sure you'll crop it properly, so you crop it like that, that it doesn't seem like the clouds are cut out. The clouds on this side, they'll move in this direction, and that's why we always need to keep some space over here. Go to the first frame, command V, now we have a second cloud. Go again to the crop icon, choose another cloud from here, and make sure the other cloud has space on the left side. Just like that. Now go to the effects tab, type in directional and put the directional filter on both clouds. You need to adjust the angle so the clouds will go away in this direction. Now go to the first frame, go to your first cloud block, which is at the bottom left. Add a keyframe. Now go to the last frame and make the clouds move all the way to the bottom left so they disappear completely. And the same movement will apply to the upper right cloud. So go to the transform button, add keyframes, go to the last frame and make it move all the way out of the image, just like that. 
another very important detail is go to the last map go to the first frame go to color board and then for the first frame make the exposure almost 80 percent then set a keyframe skip two frames and make the exposure back to normal it's also just like in casey's intro after you applied all the effects and it is a little bit too fast for you, you can just um, adjust the length of each clip. Yeah, and I think five frames for each clip looks even better. So yeah, I hope you understood everything. Like, subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.